begin with this story uh, from the airports. The U.S. Trade and Development Agency has announced a $1.2 million grant for a feasibility study to support the development of a maintenance, repair and overhaul facility at the Kotka International Airport. The U.S. Ambassador to Ghana, Stephanie Sullivan, presided over a ceremony in Accra. Charles Aite has more on this report. No matter how minor or complicated the repair works could be, airlines must repair their aircraft at a certified MRO in order for the aircraft to return to service. But with the unavailability of maintenance and overhaul repair facilities in Ghana, airlines had had to utilize MROs in other parts of Africa. Speaking at the launch of the grant, the U.S. Ambassador to Ghana, Stephanie Sullivan, explains that this study builds on the previous U.S. TDA feasibility study in 2009, 2011 and 2012 to undertake enhancement of the Kotoka International Airport. Currently, Ghana and West Africa are losing the fiscal benefit and reputational status of having an MRO capacity. MRO facilities on the African continent represent approximately 4% of the global MRO market, with only three existing MROs in Africa and no MRO facility at all in West Africa. An increasingly strong demand for MRO facilities presents an opportunity for Ghana and for Kotoka Inter Airport, International Airport in particular to serve as a regional hub, creating skilled job opportunities and elevating Ghana's position in the aviation sector. The managing director of the Ghana Airport Company Limited, Yao Kwakwa, explained that the feasibility study will go a long way to reduce costs involved aircraft repair and maintenance works. With excellent customer service that goes with the need to provide our services in a safe and secure manner, we know that we need to also develop the facilities that goes with the sector development. And this MRO is going to go a, 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 is going to go a good length to further cement as that way. I was extremely happy to hear the Deputy Minister of Defence saying that we should extend the MRO facility to other regional airports. Indeed, we do have that, and so we believe that, uh, for instance, Tamale is going to be a, a very good place for uh, an MRO, another MRO facility. On his part, the Deputy Transport Minister, Hassan Tampolu Suleiman, lauded the initiative as it sets the country as the aviation hub for West Africa. That the potential for growth of the air transport industry and its attendant benefits remains huge. With the easing of the COVID-19 pandemic, the aviation industry is gradually bouncing back to life with very promising prospects for growth and expansion. This steady growth is expected to increase the frequency of aircraft movement on the continent and thus creating an insatiable demand for adequate aircraft MRO facilities to service them. The establishment of the maintenance and overhaul repairs facility makes Ghana the only aviation hub in West Africa to have such a facility. This activity supports the Prosper Africa Initiative, a U.S. government initiative to substantially increase two-way trade and investment between the United States and Africa.